Jasper attorney Bob Bryan says the water in Walker County is making people sick. But we have had hundreds of calls and clients come in and people on our Facebook page describing the same situation. Bryan filed a lawsuit on behalf of Kayla Mims against Tyson Foods and Jasper Waterworks and Sewer Board. According to the lawsuit, Mims developed sepsis caused by E. coli. She spent four days in ICU. Brian says the only way she could have gotten sick was from drinking her tap water. All of the water in Walker County uh, it comes through Jasper Waterworks and it's all sourced from the Mulberry Fork. We know E. coli is in the Mulberry Fork. On June 6th, a pipe malfunction at the Tyson Foods plant in Hansville. And according to the lawsuit, the State Division of Wildlife says it released as much as 800,000 gallons of wastewater into the Mulberry Fork. The spill caused a massive fish kill that stretched at least 40 miles down the river. Water samples taken of the Mulberry Fork following the spill showed multiple levels of E. coli. People were told not to recreate in the water, but Jasper Waterworks Board never warned anyone about the drinking water. Earlier this week, Jasper Waterworks released a statement saying the treated drinking water showed no contamination of E. coli. There can't be hundreds upon hundreds, if not thousands of people in Walker County who just who are sick this sick with GI issues and it be testing at appropriate levels. Brian says Mims' lawsuit is just the beginning. He's also representing more than 50 others who say they've been sickened by drinking water in Walker County, and he expects that number to grow. In Walker County, Sarah Killian, WVTM 13. Jasper Waterworks Board General Manager Jason Langley says he's still reviewing the lawsuit. We reached out to Tyson's Foods, but we're still waiting to hear back. Tomorrow, Coleman County officials planning for a water outage. The areas affected will include Northwest College Drive, Northwest Section Line Road, West Drive, Forest Drive, McNutt Street, Northwest Michelle Street, and Magnolia Avenue. Officials say the outage will be from 1 in the afternoon to 5.30 p.m. Happening